Hello everyone, Tony, put on your lab coat and let's go to the lab. We now have to make two videos every week. That means that we have to work twice as hard. Come on then, today's experiment is gonna be super interesting. Let's go. Let's start with something known as hot ice. We're gonna need baking soda, salt, vinegar, a pot, and a tin. So, first we pour the vinegar in the pot and slowly start adding the baking soda while stirring. You're gonna need 200 milliliters of 9% vinegar and 25 grams or three teaspoons of baking soda. Once the solution has started fizzing, place the pot on the stove and start boiling the mix until you see white crystals forming on the sides of the pot. The result is concentrated sodium acetate. Let it cool for a while. If you did everything right, you'll see a crust on top of the solution. If that doesn't happen, then you have to boil it a bit longer. Now we slowly add hot water until the solution is homogeneous and the crust is gone. Then we pour the liquid in the tin and place it in the fridge to cool it down to room temperature. I believe it's ready. Tony, now add a pinch of salt. Wow, awesome. It instantly crystallizes and feels like ice, but it's not cold, it's magic. Tony, do you remember that magic outside Hogwarts is forbidden? Yeah, you're gonna be punished. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Now it's time for another experiment. We're gonna make a volcano. The first step is decorating the vessel with plasticine to make it look like a real volcano. Now we pour water in the vessel and we add red food coloring, a few drops of dish soap and a couple spoons of baking soda. Meanwhile, we're gonna make a citric acid solution in another glass. Simply mix five tablespoons of citric acid and 1.5 glasses of water. Done. Now we pour the solution in our volcano. Tony, look. The sleeping volcano has woken up and is breathing fire, all thanks to the well-known chemical reaction between soda and acid. The soap makes the lava bubblier and the dye makes it red, so it looks like a real volcano. Friends, be careful with these experiments at home. Playing with acid can be very dangerous, so always use gloves and safety goggles. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. And while Tony is playing with his volcano, tell us if you ever did something similar or if you know any other experiments. The best comment will be featured in the next episode. Give us a like if you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you soon with some new experiments. Bye bye.